Having stake pockets on a trailer makes it only that much more useful. It's very handy. Along with those tie downs, that's going to make your trailer even far more professional. Let's investigate how to put those on. So to get started with this, let's talk about what you need to acquire. There's our commercially made bent members like you see here. Now I've welded mine onto the angle steel that I purchased separately. So it does not come this way. It doesn't come with the hole drilled for the bolt that goes in the upright. Neither does it have a hole drilled in the bottom that would allow water to escape or for another kind of bolt if you ever needed it. So you could be quite busy with this. What you do is you buy the angled piece and you can get that from trailer catalogs of various sites. Weld along here, do the best job you can. And then you're ready to just take this whole shebang and weld it to the side of a trailer. And as far as the actual tie down is concerned, you can use them. They come in different sizes. I bought the biggest one I could get because I liked it. Uh, just take these. Find a good place and weld them on. That's all there is to it. And you only need about, I guess, four per trailer. That would do it in a, you know, 8x10 or 5x10 size trailer, certainly. Or bigger. This is the biggest one I make. An overall good design allows not only for the stake pockets, but also some openings that could be left in the, in the sideboards so that you can run a tie line through into the inside instead of up and over this wood that's always a good idea at least that's what i found out through practice 